This video will show you how to simulate torn clothes in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. In the description of this video I've already put a link for you to download the Blender file we are going to use for this tutorial. When you open Blender, first go to File then click on Open. Browse for the Blender file you've just downloaded then click on Open to open it. Press Shift to then go to Mesh and add a cube. Press Tab to go to the edit mode then click on this Y to go to a side view. Press G then Z to move it down up to this level along the Z. Click on this icon to activate X-ray visibility then select these bottom vertices. Press G then Z then minus 1.3 to move them down by 1.3. Now press Ctrl or then click to add an edge loop somewhere here. Bring your mouse cursor to this area then press Ctrl or then 17 to add 17 edge loops to this side. Press Ctrl or then 20 to add 20 edge loops to this side as well. Select this face and this face then press delete then select faces to delete them. Select this middle face then hold shift and select these other faces up to this level. Press delete then select faces to delete them. Select this bottom face then hold control then click on this other face and press delete then select faces to delete them. Now press alt then click on this edge to select the faces. Hold shift then alt and click on an edge to select these other faces until you finish all of them. Press delete then select only faces to delete only faces. Press control or then 17 to add 17 edge loops here. Come to this side as well then press Ctrl or then 17 to add 17 edge loops here as well. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. So click on this icon to go to the physics properties then click on cloth to add a cloth physics to it. Scroll down and click on this drop down arrow on shape then click on this box to activate sewing. Select this body as well and come back to the physics properties and click on collision to add a collision physics to it. Now if you play it you can see our cloth starting to come out. But if you look closely, you can see that at this point it's not closing in very well yet. So to fix that, select the cloth and come back to the physics properties then scroll down under shape then reduce on the shrinking factor to minus 0.1. Now if you play it again you can now see that the result is better. So come back to the physics properties and click on this drop down arrow on collisions. Scroll down and activate self collisions. Now if you play it you can now see that the result is better but this point is still failing to close. To fix that press tab to go to the edit mode then select this edge and this edge. Press delete then select edges to delete the edges. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. If you play it now you can see that the issue is fixed. So come to the modifier properties then click on this drop down arrow and apply the modifier. Now press tab to go to the edit mode. Come to this toolbar and scroll down to this knife tool then click to select it. To make the cuts click somewhere on the part of the mesh you want to cut and hold the click then draw a pattern you want to tear then after you release the click and press enter. You can now start making cuts to the areas of the cloth you want to tear. When you're done, come up here and click on Mesh then go to Split and select Faces by Edges. Now press Tab and go back to the Object Mode. Go to the first frame then come to the Physics Properties and click on Cloth to add a Cloth Physics. Now if you play it you can see the cloth tearing. To make it look finer, come to the Modifier Properties then click on Add Modifier then go to Generate and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Reduce these render levels to 1 then press Shift D to duplicate it. Click on it here and hold then move it above the cloth modifier. Now go back to the first frame then come to the physics properties and scroll down to cache and click on bake to bake the simulation. Now if you play it you can see it coming out well but it has some undesirable gaps at the sewing points. So to fix that come back to the physics properties and click on delete bake to delete the bake. Go to the modifier properties and switch this first subdivision surface modifier to simple. Now come back to the physics properties and click on bake to bake the simulation. Now if you play it you can see it coming out well. 
And now we are done. Thank you so much for watching up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.